students so your midterm exam is over hope you all have done well and you all are fine at your home now today we will discuss about the next chapter that is which is included in your post midterm so that is menstruation so we will little bit discuss what actually happens in this so menstruation here suppose here we will discuss about the areas perimeters related to all now what is perimeter what we know about the perimeter let's take one example see now see suppose this is a rectangle so for perimeter perimeter means if i will start from here okay if i will start from here then i will go here then here then here then again to i will start from point a to i will cover all the points and after that again i will reach to the same point from where i have started that is a so it covers the total distance so what actually is perimeter perimeter is the total distance covered so from here so if for this figure if i want to write the perimeter then perimeter will be ab plus bc plus cd plus da so you can just write 4 cm plus 2 cm plus 4 cm plus 2 cm it will be it will be 12 cm is the perimeter of this given figure okay now let me the figure so this is all about perimeter okay now as we know that the this figure indicates as a rectangle isn't it so we know that the rectangle in rectangle the opposite sides are equal so here we can write this here you can see that ab bc okay after that this is ab plus bc then cd then da now for this since this ab and bc is equal so we can write here ab and bc and this ab is equal so here again i can write bc then what will happen here it will be 2 ab plus 2 bc then 2 into ab plus bc 2 into 4 cm plus you can say 2 cm 2 into 6 means 12 cm is the perimeter so what we get to know that the perimeter of the of a uh, rectangle is 2 that the length plus breadth because why two because the two opposite sides are equal that is why i have shown you by breaking the each and every steps by, uh, by which we get two into length plus breadth this is all about perimeter of a rectangular surface if you are set to find the perimeter of the rectangular surface then you simply write P is equal to two into L plus B. L means the length, and B means this width. Clear? Now next we will see the perimeter for regular shapes. Regular shapes means for regular shape you can say regular shapes means which have same equal measurements of sides. Equal side. Suppose you can see here, this is a rectangle. This is a square. Okay, here you can see four centimeter, four centimeter, four centimeter, two centimeter. So for this, the perimeter is simply here. It is four. So you just need to write four into after that any side length of sides. You can say length 
Thank you.